what's up SAT preppers it's Brian with Radical Prep we're going over systems of equations for the new SAT the one coming out in March 2016 uh, if you don't have thousands of dollars to put down on an SAT course this is a great place to start uh, we're doing everything free plenty of practice problems and there's a PDF you can download you can do it on your own and always check back so let's talk about what is a system of equations and how are they going to test it on the new SAT first of all we got to know what it is system of equations you're given two or more separate equations each has at least two variables. You're, you're going to see an X and a Y, B and a C, a Z and an H. They'll, they'll mix it up to try and throw you off. The solution to the system of equations is a point. So you're really given two equations, and you're, they're asking you, where does it intersect? It's a coordinate. And if they give you a graph, they want to know what's that intersection point, right? So it could be a parabola in a line. It could be two lines. But you're looking for the intersection point of two equations. Okay, that's the main goal. So... On the page here, this is a typical example. This practice one, number one. Find the solution to the system of equations. So this is a nice, easy one. The two equations are stacked up. So to solve this, you're going to use my method or the method that I was taught. Just put a line under there like you would do an equation. And it's nice because this is a plus 2y and this is a plus 2y. So when they have the same sign, you subtract. Same sign, subtract. So watch. Top equation minus the bottom equation. 5x minus 8x. Easy. 4x. 2y minus 2y. Boop. Gone. 10 minus 2 is 8. And here we just divide by 4, right? Get x by itself. x equals 2. So you're not done. If it says find the solution, this is kind of step 2, you got to plug this back in. So just pick one of these equations you want to plug back in. So we'll do the top one. 5 times 2, because we just discovered that x is 2. 2y equals 10. So that's 10 plus 2y equals 10. So we'll find out pretty quick that 2y equals 0, and then y equals 0. Okay, so our point is 2, 0. That would be our solution. So on the graph, these two lines would intersect at 2, 0. Let's do another practice one. Find the solution to the systems of equations. So here we have one. Again, I'll start off. Put my line under. The signs are different. So when the signs are different, you got to add. Because your goal in this entire thing is to get one variable by itself. So you're trying to eliminate. Always your goal is to eliminate. So here's, I'm going to do kind of what I told you before. Put parentheses around it. And I'll put a plus sign. So now, 2x plus negative 2x, boop, crosses out. 5y plus 2y, 7y. 15 plus 20, 35. And now we're just doing simple division again, right? So we get y equals 5. The only thing is we're not done. we got to plug back in. So let's take the top equation. 2x plus 5 times 5 equals 15 and we've got 2x plus 25 equals 15 or well, minus 25 minus 25 and we get 2x equals negative 10 x equals negative 5 and you're done so your coordinate of where these two lines intersect is going to be negative 5 comma 5 so those are the simple ones. Let's move on to, you know, getting slightly more difficult. All right, so for number three, we get something that's a little harder because if we look at these, or this system of equations, not everything is nicely lined up like the other ones. So we got to make sure that we can line everything up. So let's rewrite it. I'd say that's step one. So I'll do, I'll keep the top one, 2y plus 3x equals 14. And I'm, I'm going to move the 4y over to line up with this 4y, or with 2y. And I'll switch the 12x, so I just flip-flopped them, equals 16. Okay, so I'm, I, the first step is to line them up, so your y's and your x's are stacked. Okay, now we have a problem, because before, the coefficients were the same, right? We got a problem here, though, because there's a 2y, a 4y, a 3x, and a 12x. I always want the coefficients to be the same, so what do I do? I'm going to put parentheses around this, which you know I like doing. I multiply the whole thing by 2. So that's going to turn into 4y, I'm just distributing, plus 6x, and you got to do it to everything. 2 times 14, 
is 28. Now let's rewrite the bottom one. 4y plus 12x equals 16. Now I can do my method from before and just add or subtract them. So we have a 4y and a 4y. What, do I, what did I say to do when it's the same sign? Same sign, subtract. Okay? Let's subtract them. Put the parentheses, put the sign on the outside. 4y minus 4y, boop, gone. 6x minus 12x is negative 6x. 28 minus 16 is 12. So x is going to be negative 2. Now what do I do? Go back and plug in. Let's plug it into the top one here. So 2y plus 3 times negative 2 equals 14. And let's solve. 2y minus 6 equals 14. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. I'll just continue it over here. So 2y equals 20. So that means y equals 10. So now we have our coordinates of our intersection point. Let's just make sure and find out what the, the problem actually wanted. What is the sum of x and y? Well, sum of x and y is just negative 2 plus 10, which gives you 8. And you're done. So just to summarize real quick, when the coefficients and the variables are not lined up, first get the, the variables stacked, and then either multiply or divide to get one of the coefficients the same. And you go from there. But we'll practice some more. All right, we're on number four, and this is a slightly difficult or more difficult uh, systems of equation problem. Uh, it says negative 3b minus 2a equals b plus 2, and 5a plus 12 equals 16 minus b. So I would say the first thing we need to do is clean this up. So let us minus the b over here, minus the b. So we'll get negative 4b minus 2a equals 2. The next thing I think we should do is let us, we'll add b, and we'll get all the variables on one side, and then let's minus the 12. Sorry, I got a little cramp there. Minus the 12. So these b's will cancel out. Those 12's will cancel out. I'm going to write b plus 5a. b plus 5a. I did that to keep the variables lined up. And that's 16 minus 12, which is 4. So now we have another issue, just like the last one. We have variables lined up, but the coefficients are different. So what number might you pick for the bottom one to get this working better? Maybe I might multiply the whole thing by 4, right? Because that will be negative 4b in the top and 4b in the bottom. So let's rewrite the top one. The bottom one will have 4b plus 20a equals 16. And now, how do we solve this? We got a negative 4b in the top, 4b in the bottom. Different signs, we're going to add them. So negative 4b plus 4b, gone. Negative 2a plus 20a, we have 18a. 2 plus 16 is 18. So now we're good. We know a equals 1. So what do we do with that information? We plug back in. So let's use, let's use the bottom one. It might be easier to plug in. So that's 5 times 1 plus 12 equals 16 minus b. I probably should have done one of these other ones, but that's all right. We'll get rid of the 12. We'll move it over here. So we have 5. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> Sorry, I did this a super long way. Um, minus 4. Don't do it like this. <laughs> I just, I went roundabout. 1 equals negative b. b equals negative 1. Sorry. That was like the super long way of doing it. But if A equals 1, you can kind of plug it in. So that was 5 times 1 is 5 is 17. So you get 17 equals 16 minus B. And then you minus the 16 minus the 16. Yeah, and you get 1 equals negative B. Sorry, that's way faster. Ignore what I did. Anyway, so we've got A equals 1, B equals negative 1. So we've got, we want to know what B over A is negative 1 all over 1, which gives you negative 1, and you're done. All right, so for problems 5 and 6, we're getting a little bit more difficult to let them a little more SAT-like in the way they're going to ask questions. So let's look at the remember point. The solution to a system of equations is the point where two lines intersect or overlap on a graph 
plugging the point x, y into either equation will help you get the missing information. And we've been doing that before, kind of just a reminder. So let's look at number five. This one says x plus 3 halves y equals 7. The bottom one is 6y equals 8 plus ax. So we have this extra variable. The solution to the system of equations above is 4, 2. So that means if you plug in 4, 2 into either equation, it should work out. You should get the same numbers back. Everything should work out because it's the intersection point. What is the value of a? Well, they actually give you this graph or they give you this equation, but you don't need to plug anything in. It's extra information. This is really just extra. We could say superfluous, superfluous, or uh, give me another synonym for extra. I can't think of one right now. Superfluous, good one. So now, let's use the bottom one. Let's plug in here. X is 4. Well, let's start with the Y. 6 times 2 equals 8 plus A. We don't know what A is yet, but what is X? X is 4, right? So now we got 12 equals 8 plus 4a. We'll minus the 8, minus the 8. And we get 4 equals 4a. That means a equals 1. That's it. You're done. a equals 1. So the reason I put this in there is just be aware, because it happens on the SAT. So they'll give you sometimes equations. You don't even need to use the second one. It's extra information. Okay? So when they tell you it's a coordinate, you can really just plug into the equation and use that information to help you out. All right, for number six, we have 4y equals ax plus g, and x plus 2 thirds y equals 4. This is probably the hardest question out of, out of the first set here in this part one. If the x value of the solution to the above system of equations is equal to 3, then 6 minus g equals. All right, well, they told you the x value is 3. So I could write here, you know, 3 comma something we don't know what the y value is but we can use that information to plug in so why don't I plug it in here to get a y value so 3 plus 2 thirds y equals 4 I'll minus the 3 from both sides minus the 3 we got 2 thirds y equals 1 and I hope you remember if you want to fix this just multiply by the reciprocal so 3 halves so it looks like y equals 3 halves. So now, what do we do with that information? Well, we can plug it in to the top equation. So we'll plug it in right there. That's 4 times 3 halves equals ax. But what is x? x is 3. 3a uh, plus g. So we have 4 over 2. This is 6. 6 equals 3a plus g. And what does the question want? It wants 6 minus g. So we'll just minus g from both sides. Minus g from both sides. And we get 6 minus g equals 3a. And you're done. So this is going to conclude part one. Part two is definitely going to have more uh, tricks and tips. And you'll see the harder uh, solving or systems of equations problems in the part two. So definitely... Keep watching. Thanks.